What's good, YouTube? Picasso Cobby here. So, we're gonna start the night out with a request from Mitchell Best, and this is another one from Australian Crawl, who I've come to enjoy on the last couple that we've done. This is Oh No, Not You Again from 1981. Very excited for some more Australian Crawl, man. These guys are fun right here. They got a fun style. I've enjoyed their lyrics so far. So, if you're new here, subscribe for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down all the lyrics, the instrumentations. We got a music video for this one, I do believe. Mitchell Beston, thank you for your request, my friend. I appreciate all of your guys' requests. You request some amazing music that I otherwise would not have found. And the lyricism inside of these songs, is it's such real art that you guys send to me on here. So I appreciate that we get to discuss this, break it all down. We get to be here for each other, discuss our issues, relate to each other a bit, and help each other feel less alone when it's so dark and dreary inside of the world sometimes you feel like you're alone and it's a good way to just wind down a little bit right oh boy oh boy <laughs> i need some winding down right it's been a hell of a week for me man let me tell you it's been a hell of a week this week i've been organizing all kinds of stuff with myself trying to figure out what i want to do with everything next year right <laughs> i've been going wild to begin the month off so i appreciate you guys tuning in we're gonna get into this i'm vacasa Kabi. a reaction video a day keeps the doctor away fuck those apples this is australian crawl oh no not you again requested by mitchell beston <laughs> I like this vibe right here. Mm. This gives me like Cure type vibes. I like this. This has that like Cure kind of feel. The Cure is one of my favorite fucking bands ever. And I love the vibe of that style of music. It's like kind of melancholy but happy and upbeat and dancey at the same time, right? It's very, it's like emotional happy that's what i'm trying to say it's got like that emotional happy kind of vibe there's like this melancholy undertone to the sound one of my favorite styles of music right here so far <laughs> she was such a pretty thing, a man wide at horse. Okay. Evening time, she sets the table for four. Yeah. Some friends are coming round tonight. Is out on the town. He's trying to score. Okay. I see what this is about. I see what this is about right here. <laughs> this is fun. I like this story right here. This is one of those stories that you see happening in like a movie. Like those old school fucking movies. You know what I mean? You gotta fucking love it. I like the vibe of older style like love stories like this one. They wrote such beautiful love stories back then. Uncomparable to some of the things that we fucking get now, right? <laughs> So let me tell you about two young lovers that lived on the coast. She was such a pretty thing, and man, what a host. Come evening time, she sets the table for four. Some friends are coming around tonight. He's out on the town. He's trying to score. Damn. <laughs> That's like some duality shit right there, you know what I mean? He's out on the town trying to score. She's setting the table for four. Friends are coming around. Man, oh man. You could also say he's out on the town, he's trying to score as in trying to score party substances as well. I mean, that as well. That's a possibility as well, right? <laughs> you gotta take the double meanings inside of the storytelling. He might probably explain more of 
what he's alluding to in the rest of the song. I love the vibe of this so far. This, Like I said, this has that classic vibe. Kind of reminds me a bit of The Cure. I like it. is about much more than just being like with somebody or like scoring and hosting dinner right here this just took a whole different layer emotionally right here i like how the like personal these bands back then got like real fucking life emotion in these songs shit that makes you think about things you go through on a daily basis that the music nowadays lacks the substance of 98 percent of the time there's like some two percent inside of there <laughs> that actually be saying some shit that's good right and all of this stuff from back then pretty much all of it was good you did it was the two percent was the crazy like degeneracy kind of shit sex and party culture and drugs and all of that the way they talked about that was very professional it was like yeah this be a part of our life all the time but i got more important stuff to talk about right <laughs> that's how they were <laughs> they would like allude to it a bit here and there and like make some party hits but usually they kept it deep to stuff like this man woke up early this morning something's on his mind cursing the night before breakfast at nine that's painful bro that blows <laughs> cursing the night wow before breakfast he says damn man you know she felt you know she felt him restless all through the night she senses something's wrong with him she don't want to pry she just wants to know why <sighs> about energy right this is about the girl being able to tell like something's a little bit wrong right now you're not quite okay what's going on right that's what this is right here mm-hmm oh boy oh boy oh boy cursing the night before breakfast at nine <laughs> Man, oh man. That's unfortunate, man. Like I said, that's brutal. That's fucking brutal and unfortunate. That would suck to want the night to, not, to already hate the night before breakfast is awful. That's such a. Oof. That's rough right there. Man. Don't own the swimming pool, not even a color TV. Color TVs were the fucking big thing back then, right? Everybody had black and white for a long time. 
quite a few decades, right? That color TV came out. That was some fucking rich people stuff there. That was fancy. You were living the fucking high life if you had color television. Right? I fucking love it. <laughs> I love it. No swimming pool, no color TV, he said. He watching that black and white still. Works awful hard some days and she lets him be. You know, things ain't looking good for them. No love no more. Some friends are coming around tonight. He's out in the town knocking on the wrong doors. <laughs> oh, man. Man, oh, man. It's a... <laughs> she trying to, like, want to be there, but doesn't want to pry. And through her letting him do his own thing and not wanting to pry, he's just fucking gone off, right? <laughs> he's gone off to the wrong doors. He's out on the town looking to score. We now know he's not trying to score party supplies for the house. He is trying to score on the streets and in the sheets, right? That is exactly what this is about right here. My man. Unfortunate, man. I get it. Oh, no, not you again. Right? <sighs> that old familiar feeling of betrayal, essentially, almost. Just not you again. You acting up again is basically what this is saying. Yep. Ha, oh, man. <laughs> so many tragedies on here when it comes to the love songs gods why they always gotta be having us with tragedy inside of our love songs we do on here <laughs> that's because the 80s were that time of those feely heartbreak songs right the 80s man the vibes dude fucking make a mixtape of the 80s songs and you're gonna make yourself cry in the process right <laughs> you're gonna be remembering fifth grade or something <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? You gotta love it. I love this kind of music, man. It makes you, it's very, like, nostalgic. Like, even though this is before even I was born, this is the kind of stuff that my family and my parents listen to, so I heard it all growing up, this vibe of music here. And to see y'all's side of it, because I've heard, like, the American USA side of it, the and Canada as well, like, that side of things down into South America as well with the music. But I've never tapped into what the Australians were really up to. So to get on here and find all of this with you guys and see that y'all had the same exact fucking thing with your artists fucking and how America and the labels and everything treated your artists. That is just baffling to me. I guess they didn't want to fucking expose what they were working on behind the scenes and everything, which obviously now we talk about that very freely on every platform. All artists are talking about it now, so I think that's a very awesome thing that we've arrived at that point from here. But you guys know what I mean. Like, this is just super nostalgic, and I love that it has that similar vibe to the things that I grew up listening to, to see what y'all had over there is incredible because it like i said it's virtually one and the same just much more deep to be honest much more deep when it comes to the aussie side of it
I like his voice. I love that style of singing. It's it's a classic style from this particular era of music that so many singers implemented, but it's one of my favorite vocal styles. It's just got this like tone to it that's very soothing. And even though they talk about a lot of deep things that might not be the happiest, they might be some tragic, sad kind of topics, it gives you this uplifted vibe the whole time you're listening to it where you just want to bop and dance. And like I said, my favorite thing about music is when it can have that duality where it's like super deep lyrics, but the music itself is very catchy and upbeat. It's a very great duality. I love this right here. And for the last verse, they just repeated the first one again about living off the coast. Pretty, a pretty thing and a man. What a host, right? Setting the table for four and he's out trying to score. <sighs> My man. <laughs> view of the stage right here they just took sheets and fucking hung them up like <laughs> that's just white sheets as their backdrop it's like the most budget friendly stage setup i've ever seen look at this this is great right here such a budget friendly setup literally just took white sheets and used them to bounce shadows and cast highlights with the lighting that's cool I like that it's just so simple and they use the lighting to add highlights and shadows onto it and everything. It's neat that they went with such simplicity. <laughs> was fucking awesome right here i like these guys a whole lot i really enjoy their music thank you guys for requesting them mitchell thank you for this one specifically a bunch of you guys have requested more of them multiple songs i have quite a few lined up for them this is not the last one we have there's more to come in the future that are on our list as well from multiple of you like i said so i appreciate you guys requesting this this was a tragic story about a guy who has a girl that's like, I care about you a whole lot, but I ain't gonna try to pry about it. I can see something might not be okay. Something might be slightly wrong right now, and you're just not you again, right? It's like a double entendre, right? It's saying you're not you again, essentially, is what it's saying. But it's also saying it could be like, oh, no, not you again, as in the circumstance or the emotions involved with it as well. Like, man, I like the little double that even the title has once you get into the topic of it. But, yeah, it's just about she trying to not to pry even though she cares. And he's just off wilding, man. He's wild, and that's all this is. Man, beautiful storytelling, even though it's a sad topic. I like this. The original video in the description. As always, subscribe to Australian Crawl. Support all the artists we have on the channel. That's what we do this for. Get this music out into the world. Relate it to our own lives, or just talk about what the storytelling inside of it is about. This was awesome storytelling, like I said. So thank you once again for your requests. I appreciate you guys so much. We're going to get out of here. I'm Picasso Coffee. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment your suggestions. Subscribe up this way.
bang that notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Have a beautiful one. Peace.